I'm wondering if that is a typical time, but you're, I guess it all depends on the state of the car to start with. Correct. Of course, yes. And the workflow in the shop. Yes. And, and how it's going to fit into the various schedules. Uh, we don't do paint in our shop. You don't? No. I farm all the paint out, and I'll tell you why. I discovered many, many years ago that I want perfection in paint. And there, and there are very few people that are capable. If you look at this blue car, this is the last car that I physically built. The 3200 yes. yes. I built this with another man who was about 80 years old at the time and had run the factory Porsche racing team in the 50s, needed to work all of his life, had lots of experience, and he was my first employee. I couldn't get anybody else. Mm. And I had no reputation. How do you hire a credible mechanic? Now, we have a list of people that want to get into the shop. So you go from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. But this car, I bought in Sacramento, California in a junkyard. And pulled it back after an old fest in uh, Monterey. And uh, so you started with the owner of this car. It was yours to begin with. Oh yes, this I did this car before we had the workshop. Ah. This was the last car I did, and then when I finished and realized that um, I had so many people asking me to make one for them, and I made the transition from being a collector to building cars for other people, I had to begin selling cars, and so. I consigned this car to RM Auctions at the Biltmore in uh, Arizona field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric Winsberg and his wife Molly came with Sue and I, and we spent the weekend there, sold the car. Unfortunately, at the time I had 125 grand of building it, wow. and I sold it for 85. Wow. Or it sold for 85. And this was when, by the way? How long ago were we talking? This is since it's before you started the workshop. Yeah, this is 20 years. 24 years. 24 years. Okay. And the reason I did it was BMWs were not really collectible 25 years ago. Nobody was restoring 2002s. Nobody mm -hmm. was restoring coupes. Nobody was making collections. Nobody wanted this old stuff. And so I felt. If I auctioned it and it started to get some publicity, the collector market would catch on that BMWs indeed had value, and I think this car probably re represents the beginning of people wanting to collect BMWs. Finally, well, they could see yeah. what a restored BMW yeah. would look like. And by the way, you just gave me the title of the book. If I ever write your biography, I'm going to title it, Who Would Want This Old Stuff? <laughs> it's fantastic. So, so this this is a more than twenty year old restoration. Right. Twenty, I mean, at least twenty five years. Wow. I mean, it looks like it was done yesterday. Well, it was redone. It was it was in a transport truck on the way to Pebble Beach and Monterey about three or four years ago. Put it in the bottom and the back. The driver never checked the straps and the load from the entire drive from not well. Massachusetts to California and it ended up in California where the straps broke loose, the back end kept banging into the back door, the front end kept banging into a Cobra uh, vintage racer in front of it, and both sides went back and forth into those square wheel well covers for the semi-trailer. So the sides were totally trashed. This stainless steel polished rocker cover was twisted into a U. <laughs> the front bumpers were all distorted. The rear bumper was distorted. The trunk was all beat up. The front end was beat up. We couldn't get new grills, so we had to take those old grills from the beat up, twisted grills. And I had to have a guy with jewelry, jeweler's talent, fix each and every lever mover uh, and straighten them with a pin and a hammer, and then they come along. So the full, almost the full second restoration. Yes, yeah. In fact, 
the crash repair for the second version cost more than originally a building car. And how long ago was that, by the way? Pardon? This, this uh, repair and rebuild. The crash repair and rebuild took two years. And when was that? Um, about two years ago. About two years ago. Yeah, and then we had to repaint the entire car. But this was the original car. The, the color I painted it. When I bought it, it was an ugly beige, which I don't think looks good on these big cars. They don't get a dark color. Wow. They need contrast with the interior. Well, the interior, I mean, that uh, terrible interior is just spectacular with this exterior color. So, <laughs> so we've done cars in the 50s. This is 1965. This was one of the last 3200s, and it was built in May. And the production ended in the autumn of that year, so one of the last few. Let's step over to the Kaiser if we may for just a moment. I know